Hello world, I'm Yuki from Japan. In Japan, it's considered to be very safe, but there are still a lot of murders in Japan, and there are also a lot of strange types of killers. 30 years ago, a person on the criminal wanted list walked in the city while was hiding his identity. The killer changed his own face with surgery using scissors to avoid being arrested by police. He avoided capture by the police for two years and seven months by using many false names and he had over 100,000 police investigators across Japan searching for him diligently. So, he was a vicious killer. But this also impacted us in other ways because his fugitive lifestyle was very dreadful and creepy for the Japanese people. I will be introducing the ways he avoided captures and present examples from his own journal. Journal of Murder. His name is Tatsuya Ichihashi. In 2007, he was 28 years old and lived in Ichikawa City, Chiba Prefecture. He didn't have stable employment and he lived alone in a spacious apartment provided by his father who was a wealthy doctor. His parents gave him 150,000 in every month, so he lived an idle lifestyle. He tried to become a doctor, but he failed the entrance exam to medical college. Instead, he entered the Department of Hot Culture. Even though it was a prestigious university, he had an inferiority complex because he was not part of the medical faculty. That's why after he graduated from university, he didn't work and lived a self-degrading life. One day, he got a crush on certain girl. At midnight on 20th March 2007, he met a pretty British girl named Lindsay Ann Hawker. She was 22 years old. She became the victim in this murder case. He became attracted to her and began talking to her. But she ignored him and tried to pass by him while she was riding on her bicycle. But surprisingly, he ran after her and followed her to her house. He asked her to let him into her house to give him a glass of water. She was a nice person, and his father is also a good person. It was his father who permitted her to live in Japan, because Japan is the safest country in the world. She also thought that was true, so we Japanese people all the more hate criminals. That's why she accepted and gave him a cup of water at her house, which she was sharing with her friend. He tried to ask her to teach him English, but she denied it. But he didn't give up on her. He tried to draw her to get her attention. This is a picture that was drawn by him, and he wrote his name and his email address on the picture to contact her. He handed her the picture and said, teach me English later. I want to study English. He ended up making an appointment to have English lesson with her. Five days after, it was March 25th. They had an English lesson at the cafe near to Gyotoku Station in Chiba Prefecture. After the lesson, he said that he forgot to bring the money to pay her, and he lived near the cafe. They should go to his house to collect the money for the lesson. She was so busy on that day. She had work after that, but she accepted his offer to go and get the money. Then, they got a taxi and went to his house. After that, Lindsay Hawker disappeared. He wanted to have a relationship with her. They arrived at his house. Then, as soon as she got in his house, he suddenly hugged her. She was surprised and it scared her a lot. She tried to escape from him. But he changed his attitude drastically. He got mad at her and restrained her arms and feet with zip ties. He violently assaulted her and also raped her. He confined her in the bath. So, she couldn't escape. She was very scared and said, Are you going to kill me? She was terrified and wanted to escape from there. But he talked to her about strange topics. What is the difference between Catholic and Protestant? What other countries have you been to before you came to Japan? And so on. He thought if he could get along with her, she would forgive him and he could have a good relationship with her. So, he is so crazy selfish and vicious but she said let me go free otherwise you will be arrested he lost his temper and punched her in the face many times at the same time he contacted an unexpected person he thought the police would look for her sooner or later he needed to confine her for longer so he sent email to his girlfriend i'm going to study hard for one week 
I can't answer the phone for a while. After 16 hours of confinement, she tried to escape by screaming loudly, but it made him upset and he smothered her neck and killed her. After that, he cut her hair and he went shopping in the city and bought things to hide the murder. He bought soil and items to try and hide the smell of a dead body. He hid her corpse with soil in the back and brought it to his balcony. 9 p.m. March 26. He was about to go out, but when he opened the door, police investigators were waiting for him. They asked him, do you know Lindsay Ann Hawker? When her roommate was worried that she didn't come home, she called the police. The police came to his house because the picture he drew of her had his address written on it. But later, he escaped from six police officers by using the emergency stairs. He used to be a member of the track and field athletics club and he fled down the residential street by running fast in bare feet. He was briefly recaptured by the police, but he managed to escape again. He was also skilled in karate, so he was stronger than normal people. He hid in an apartment and went through the trash cans. He found a jacket and sandals in the garbage, and he also found an unlocked bicycle and stole it. He wanted to escape and get as far away from there as possible, but he went to another area. While he was there, he found a phone booth and made a call to his girlfriend. He was up to something. He wanted to commit suicide with her at famous tourist spot. But she didn't answer the phone, so he gave up and decided to escape alone. He took the money from inside, then discarded his wallet and identity card in the river, and then started his new life. For two years and seven months, he was on the police wanted list. He got on the train and arrived at Ueno in Tokyo, and he bought sewing things at the shop. After that, he found the hospital and made his way to the left room there. He looked at himself in the mirror. He started to stick needle in his nose. He bled a lot, but he continued to stick the needle in his nose time and time again. He changed the appearance of his nose. He performed surgery on his face without anesthesia to escape from police. And he bought a mask and bandage to cure and hide his injuries. He then traveled to Gunma Prefecture, Saitama Prefecture, Ibaraki Prefecture, Shizuoka Prefecture, and Niigata Prefecture for a few days, while enduring terrible pain from his injuries. He had only $500. So, he got on the train free of charge. Of course, once in a while, staff tried to catch him time and time again, but he was able to escape by running fast. After one week, he realized he needed the money to live, so he had to work. He decided to find a job, but by the time, he was already becoming famous in Japan. Her parents hired people in Japan to find out where Ichihashi was, and many other people tried to find him. Ichihashi tried to hide in the north area of Aomori Prefecture. This is an area in the countryside, and he performed surgery on himself again. He cut his lips this time. The pain was terrible, but he thought it was better than being arrested. He believed if he was arrested, he would be executed as punishment. Soon, he decided Aomori Prefecture was not a good place to find work. So, he went to Osaka to find work instead. He went to Osaka, but when he passed the police office, he saw his face on wanted poster for the first time. He felt really scared and was shaking. Then, he came up with an idea to solve the problem. I should go to 88 temples in Shikoku to bring her back to life. He was crazy. He had read this once in a certain novel before. It made him believe that if he went to 88 temples, she would come back to life again. 2007 mid-April, he arrived in Shikoku. He wore a baseball cap, mask, and glasses. He was listening the news on the radio. He listened for the news about himself and murder. After one month, he realized that she couldn't come back to life. So, he finally accepted reality. And he had been very hungry for a while. He made a decision to live on an uninhabited island. Then, 
he went to the library to look for a suitable island. When he read the novel about Okinawa Prefecture, he thought he had found a suitable and inhabited island. He got the idea to live in Okinawa because of the novel, and he went to Okinawa after that. At the same time, police began to hunt for him more diligently. Ichihashi had the price on his head, 1 million yen, so 10,000 dollars. He started to live on Oha Island in Okinawa, but surviving on Oha Island was much harder than he expected. He couldn't get drinking water or find food easily. He grew some vegetables. He tried to eat anything he could to survive, even poisonous snakes. But he suffered from hunger and dehydration. It was really hard to live there for an amateur. After a week, he gave up trying to live on Oha Island and decided to work in another place. 2007 June, he moved to Nishinari in Osaka. This is a kind of dangerous area in Japan. He thought if he could hide his identity, he could work in the area. But once again, he saw his own face on wanted poster there. The wanted poster described him as having two moths on his left cheek. Then, he cut the moths off by himself with a knife to change his appearance and he worked at construction sites around Osaka, Hyogo Prefecture and at Fukui Prefecture for a while. He introduced himself as Kosuke Inoue, Kazuo Fuji, Takeshi Ijima and more, and he learned ways to live on the island at the same time and he saved up enough money to live for a few months. But one day, one of his colleagues was talking to him. He had seen a program on TV about the search for a killer who had murdered a British woman. Ichihashi was surprised and he thought staying too long at the same place was dangerous. Then, he tried to move to Oha Island again. He learned how to live on the island, so he could stay there for a longer period of time. When he used up his money, he went back to Osaka to work for a while. So, he went back and forth between Okinawa and Osaka time and time again. It had been two years and six months since he had become a huge death. But the parents of Lindsay and Hoka continued their efforts to find him. That's why many Japanese people still remembered Tatsuya Ichihashi, and he had an even higher price on his head. It was raised to 10 million yen at that time. So, if you caught him, you could get $100,000. Many people knew him. Once, when Ichihashi finished work and went home, there was a car outside. The man inside were wearing suits. Ichihashi noticed that they were police. After that, Ichihashi didn't go back. He left his belonging in the house and he set off for Nagoya. In Nagoya, he could get facial surgery without an identity card. So, Ichihashi tried to get surgery at the surgical clinic. He had 9,000 yen and didn't have to do surgery on himself this time. But this decision was his biggest mistake. The surgery he got was to hide in the middle of forehead. But the surgeon became suspicious. After the surgery, the doctor noticed the scars on his face where the two mouths had been cut off. The doctor remembered the two moths from the picture on the wanted poster. The injuries on Ichihashi's face were in the same place as the moths from his wanted poster. The doctor noticed it called the police at once. The police was waiting for him at the hospital on the day that he was supposed to come and get the sutures removed at the surgery. But he didn't show up because he already noticed the doctor had identified him. So he didn't come back. Instead, he removed the sutures by himself. One day, he saw himself on the news on TV at the hotel in Fukuoka Prefecture. It showed a picture of him that was taken at the surgical clinic. He was surprised to see himself on TV. And after that, he left for Oha Island once again. He really didn't want to get arrested. That's why he didn't go to Okinawa from Fukuoka. He thought there would be a lot of police looking for him there. He tried to go to Hyogo Prefecture and looked for a ferry to Okinawa. But it was cancelled. He was in a state of shock. Everyone knew his face and he had become famous. He wanted to arrive on Oha Island as soon as possible. But 
he got information that there was a ferry to go to Okinawa from Osaka. As soon as he got the information, he left for Osaka and waited for the ferry. He tried to board the ferry on time, but the staff became suspicious of him when they saw him in the waiting room without any luggage in general. People who go to Okinawa have a lot of luggage without exception. The staff called the police. Soon, the police came and asked him, Hey, can I ask your name? He answered, I'm Tatsuya Ijihashi. He was arrested by police without any resistance. He felt that it was time to give himself up. 2009, 10th November, his life as a fugitive was finally over. It had been two years and seven months in the court. He was sentenced to life imprisonment. People in Japan are very nice and it is very safe here. That's right. But there must be others like this vicious murderer somewhere. So if you've ever felt this is a strange person, you have to keep away from him and be careful. Thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe to my channel. Bye bye.